Was it good for you? Oh, oh sorry, I didn't hear you guys come in. Uh, hi. This is Zeppelin 4503, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. In the last part, we took down Chuck of C and what? C and what? I keep on wanting to call it Cinnabar. Uh, wrong game. But in this part, we are going to take down Jasmine, and not in the way I was just thinking. <laughs> Alright, well, first things first. The team you knew is dead. This is my new team. Um, first off, I trained everybody up to level 25 except for our starter, who is no longer Croconaw. He's now the ar artist formerly known as Croconaw, otherwise known as Feraligator. Oh, that's so epic. See, this guy looks cool. Croconaw looked like crap. I always hated Croconaw. But... Ooh, and I, I evolved Growlithe into Arcanine. He didn't really learn anything new. I might have taught him Headbutt, but I think I did that in a different... No, I think I... And I, I taught him Headbutt. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh... Slowbulk hasn't changed, of course. What else is new? Uh, Gengar hasn't changed, either. Pidgeotto learned Whirlwind. And... Eevee evolved into Umbreon and learned Pursuit. So... Yeah. I told you I had a completely new team. Alright, but with any, any further ado, let's take out this bitch. Thank you for your help at the lighthouse. But this is different. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Jasmine, a gym leader. I use the steel type. Do you know about the steel type? It's a type that was only recently discovered. Um, may I begin? Sure, why not? Alright, well... She's actually not that hard. Except for her, her strongest one. But, I already, I already did a practice run on her, and I've become with the perfect strategy. So that's why I have Arcanine up first, because the Steel-type is weak to fire. For some strange reason. Alright, and he's gonna use Thunder Wave. He always does that. And then, the next turn, he's gonna use Supersonic. Oh, but it didn't affect all, but I'm fully paralyzed. Alright. This may turn out bad. Come on. Alright, and we got the first Magnemite down. Not bad, not bad at all. So, now we got that out of the way, she's gonna bring out her best Pokemon, Steelix. Now, Steelix is an awesome Pokemon. I would recommend getting an Onix just for this. The way you get Steelix is... You... Uh, get you get onyx, you get a steel coat or steel jacket, I forget what it's called, and then you have to trade it. So it's kind of impossible to get in this game without a Game Shark code if you're using an emulator. But um, here's my strategy for Steelix that I came up with. This is just an insurance policy bringing out Gengar. He is the coolest, but he's not really going to put up much of a be much help in this fight. So what we are going to do is we are going to curse him. And then, because I'm psychic, Steelix is going to use Iron Tail. How did I know? And Gengar's dead. But that's okay. Your sacrifice was for the greater good. We're going to bring out Feraligator. Oh, he's so awesome. Um, and we are going to use Surf. And then, I'm going to take a wild guess and say that he is going to use Sunny Day. Oh, I'm awesome. Oh, Jesus. This isn't even... This isn't post-recorded, either. I'm doing this live. I am fucking psychic. That's alright. Bring up Magnemites. And we are gonna change to... Back to Arcanine, actually. I think in the newer version, she has a lot stronger Pokémon. I think she may have a Magnemite, a Magneton, and a Steelix. I'm not... don't quote me on that, though. Yep, he's gonna use Thunderbolt. But Sunny Day is activated! So, we're gonna get him in one shot. 
<laughs> Man, I am freaking psychic. I did I did two practice runs of this, so that's why I know. <laughs> she did the same strategy for the, all two times. You are a better trainer than me, in both skill and kindness. In accordance with league rules, I confer upon you this badge. And we got 3,500 bucks for winning, and we sent some mom, of course. Because she's a mooch. She buys drugs with our money. And we got the mineral badge. Um, please take this too. TM23, which I believe is Iron Tail. Okay. So, let's get out of here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna cut it right here. Uh, go heal everybody up, and then head back to Ecrotique. So, I will see you guys in a minute. After I find... Yeah, there's... Okay, guys, we are back, and we're back in Ecrotique City. And now what we want to do... What you want to... Where you want to go... I should... Oh. What does this douche want? Uh, it's Chad. How are you? How are your Pokemon doing? You know, Professor Oaks. So, of course, your Pokemon are fine. Well, too, but then I'm trying to become a Pokemon president. I shouldn't be. Me. Shut the hell up! I don't care. I don't care about Meowth. I've beaten so many of them in the past day. Seriously, I did a lot of training um, off screen, so I faced a lot of Meowths, and they don't give a shit worth of experience. They don't give a shit. But anyway, as I was saying, you want to come down to the bottom right of Ecrotique City, and you want to come this way. Cue the epic music. And we want to get ahead right... Blah, blah, blah. Ged. We want to head right to the newest city, which will be Mahogany Town. Mahogany. What's that down there? Hey! It's that thing. The thing that whose name I can't pronounce. That's it? Oh, you seen? Wow, we lucked out this time. And I'm not, gonna, not even gonna bother because I don't collect apricorns. So fuck it. Okay, and I already faced all the trainers over here, so we can just breeze right through, except for this goddamn Goldeen. Level 20. Wow. Not bad. Oh, I should have just defeated it for experience. Oh, well. Yep, everybody over here, I already... Wait, did I face this guy? Yeah, I did. And... Here we are. Mahogany Town. Pretty quick, right? Uh, everybody's fully healed. So I guess we could start heading... Ooh. Um, actually... Before I do that, I'm gonna cut and head back to a mart, because for some reason this place doesn't have a mart. So I will see you guys in a... Okay guys, I'm back, and uh... Sorry about that, I just had to go see make sure I had my balls. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Alright, oh! We got a trainer! I thought I... No, I just took out... I just went to two trainers. Yeah, I went on ahead a little bit to, like, train and stuff. So, um, there's, like, I face, like, two trainers on this road, I think. He says I'm a sand shrew. Really? Alright, whatever. Let's just defeat him for what little experience I need to get to level 26. Scratch. Huh! You're funny. It was a nice try, though. And Arcanine is now to level 26. He's not gonna learn a new move. Why does Arcanine not learn that many moves? The last learn he moved, I taught himself. And before that, it was Ember. Uh, let's set up Slowpoke. Sand Slash is pretty cool, but overall, still not a very good Pokemon. Poison ground, I think they are. So this should be super effective. Or I could be completely fucking wrong. I'm used to it though now. But this is gonna be super effective. Aha! 
And let's finish it off with a strength. Yeah, so... One thing I wanted to talk about is that I found a new favorite anime. Not so much favorite as, like, my favorite favorite, but, like, it's up there. I've beginning, I'm beginning to love, uh, Sergeant Frog. Yeah. It's, if you've never seen it before, go watch it. Um, the Japanese name is actually Keroro Gunso. Gunso. Something of that nature. I don't speak Japanese, so... Yeah, go, go watch Sergeant Frog. You won't regret it. It's very funny. If you don't like watching uh, the subtitles, there is an English dub. So, yeah, definitely give it some of your time. It's, it's, it's funny. It's not very much an action anime, but it's, it's very funny. And the English dub uh, puts in a lot of, like, pop culture, American pop culture. So, it's like the Japanese Family Guy or Simpsons, to compare it to st something. Oh, and they just took a thousand bucks. Douchebags. I just got mugged. You know, for kids! Alright, I already faced these guys. Let's go face some more trainers. Actually, how much time do I have left? I got a minute or two. Let's f oh. Um. Ooh, a Venom Man. Yeah, so, go check it out if you have some extra time on your hands. There are a lot of uh, episodes on YouTube, so just check them out. And we are here at Lake of Rage. Let's read it. Lake of Rage, also known as Gyarados Lake. Ooh, Gyarados. Sounds intriguing. And what the hell is that? Alright, not that. Good. Magikarp. The most useless Pokemon in the game. In all the games, actually. Yeah, seems to be a red Gyarados here. Right next to a red Lapras. What has this world come to? But anyway, I guess we'll... I guess we'll face him in the next part. Yeah, sorry this episode's so short, but... Um... We'll get a lot more stuff done in the next part. So, um, until then, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, thank you for subscribing and all that nonsense. If you're just watching this for the first time, if you want to subscribe, that's up to you. Um, leave comments at the bottom, like it, dislike it, whatever you want to do, I don't care, man. I do this for fun anyway. So, um, I will see you guys later, and thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.